This is Lindsay Nance with 615 Insider, and we have a very special episode for you today. We're in downtown Franklin at the factory for Southern Whiskey Society. You can see it's already really exciting around me. We already got some cream props, so I cannot wait to go and try some of this whiskey and all the food they have to offer, too. Bourbon 101 with Brandon. Here we go. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so you were asking about proof. Yes. So proof is how much of the whiskey is like alcohol. It's always 50% of what it says. Oh. So if a bottle is 100 proof, that's 50% alcohol. The things you and Jay are drinking, I feel like are almost always over 100. Well, okay, so a couple <laughs> weeks ago different. when I gave him that fun high proof, we were in the 150s. No. Like high 150s. Is that even enjoyable? It is. <laughs> There's so much that goes into it. You might have a barrel of bourbon that was sitting in the corner of a warehouse in the winter for like five winters, and it's gonna have a totally different taste than that exact same juice that's sitting yeah. in the bottom of the warehouse. This is my first whiskey of the night. I've heard first you guys, whiskey. yeah, I heard so new rip is one, very, okay. So this is our entry level, it is a rye. It is 100% malted rye, six years old. It's bottle and bond, I don't know if you know bottle and bond, meaning that it's 100 proof. The rules that follow it, and so that's what we start that one here. I mean, I'm a big fan of New Rip. This is their new malted rye. Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> it's spicy. Okay, Chris Thomas, the owner of Southern Whiskey Society, sent me half to try these Hattie Beast corn dogs. There's hot chicken in the middle of this, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. I get we like just take it. Wow. This is just two out of the nine. Jeff Arnett retired from Jack Daniels. He's our master distiller and owner. Wow, of yeah. Meat. Just some maple wood. Not like maple syrup, not super sweet, but this is well, like. That's good. I've got 9, 10, and 11 year bourbon, 18, and 19 year bourbon. One of us get an 18, and one of us get the yes. 7, so we can compare. Woo! 36 states that we distribute to. That one punches that you after a second. Try this one. In this comparison. one is burning. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. So you like the 19? I loved the 19. The 7? No. You were not lying when you said, hey, go for the older ones. Go for yeah. the 19 years over the 7 years yeah. because the difference in basically the same whiskey was, was insane. But you might have one that's three years, three years old that's like fantastic. So it's just, it's all, know. that's what these tasters are for. <laughs> Thankfully, I've been able to weasel my way into being a master taster for Outsider. <laughs> I love this. Jay, you're missing out, dude. So we exited Southern Whiskey Society to get some peace and quiet, check out all the stores they have at the factory in Franklin. Getting a lot of coffee here and it smells amazing. We have clothing stores. Brandon even said there's a barber shop at the factory, like there's everything you need all in this one massive building. Uh, and I love it so far. I, I wanna find Jenny's ice cream too, to get some of that. Well, Caroline and uh, Lindsay left about, about two hours ago and uh, I'm here by myself now. Southern Whiskey Society has been amazing. Chris Thomas, thank you so much for having us out. So good. And uh, I'm gonna have to Uber home tonight. Cheers.